Hi guys, Kali Vlogs here and for today's video we are going to unbox and check the figures that I ordered from Calico Toys Co. Tama ba yun? Calico Toys Collectibles or Calico Toys and let's get started. Okay guys, uh, you know, I, I just immediately checked my phone to check uh, if tama ba yung name ng store ng pinag-orderan ko. And it's actually Calico Toys. Kasi ang spelling niya dito is capital C-A-L-I, capital C-O, dot, space, then toys. Uh, it's actually here. I just want to show to you guys. I'm not sure if you're able to see it properly, but it's the one with the orange logo. So that's, it's from Calico Toys. I don't know the correct pronunciation, but that's the shop where I ordered it from. So, just a little backstory on this one, why may package tayo ngayon. Uh, I was, you know, recently just browsing through my uh, Shopee, and then I came across their store, and they had a promo for any three figures for 1,200 pesos. So, sabi ko, it's one of those, another amazing bundle promos and deals na nakikita ko online and you know i couldn't pass up on when i saw some of the figures that i needed to add to my collection to complete my set and then some and then one figure there that i wanted to add to the set because simply i wanted it for my collection but uh other than that uh let, just give me a few uh minutes to actually remove the packaging on this one because i don't want to do a long video of me of you seeing me you know uh, unwrapping everything so let me just uh, get my pair of scissors and cutters uh, remove all the bubble wrap so give me guys a minute and I'll be able to you know show to you guys the stuff that I ordered okay thank you guys and let me just unwrap this okay so I've now removed the bubble wrap and you know, it's it's actually thick so uh, Calico Toys you know kudos for your uh, shipping delivery and you know packaging services it's actually well packaged and now that i'm actually opening the box i'm seeing that the figures are also wrapped in bubble wrap so again i have to remove a couple more of these but it's interesting enough that uh they also added a layer of bubble wrap under underneath the box so calico toys good job on your packaging i really liked it uh yeah so i'm just going to remove that okay sorry about that uh i just have to remove all of the uh bubble wrap again on these figures and then i can now show to you guys you know the figures that i bought okay so that's last of the bubble wrap uh, covering the packaging the package items and here they are now so it's also nice that uh kaliku toys were nice enough to put it also in the sorter box because uh, I think you have to pay an additional if you're going if you want them to be inside a uh, pop protector and ko naman uh, hindi ko na pinalagay ng pop protector simply because it's an additional of 120 pesos it's not because I'm cheap <clears throat> sorry about that not because I'm cheap but it's because I already have a bunch of uh, pop protectors in my uh, in my room so I don't actually need additional more because I can use those but other than that these are the figures that I ordered okay so again they were on a promo for three for any three figures from their selected list for 1200 so let's actually take a look at the first figure that we have here and it's going to be this one ah, okay so this is uh, the figure that I actually wanted to add to my collection simply because I wanted it and this is Toucan Sam from the mascot for Fruit Loops which is under the pop ad icons which is number 195 in the entire list and the reason why you know I wanted to get this figure particularly it's because I uh, I love in in terms of the cereals I love uh, Fruit Loops I'm not saying I don't like stars honey stars or Coco Crunch and the other uh, cereals that are available in our supermarkets it's just that this is something that i like the most the fruit box one simply because of its flavors and all so this is the actual uh figure or the not figure the actual mascot so it's toucan sam so this is the front uh this is the side this is the back part which is i don't know if i follow your uh follow your nose oh, that's a nice uh uh quotation and then this is the side 
there's actually a an exclusive na nilabas na ito wherein the figure is flock and I think I might get that soon if I can find it available pa sa Shopee or if I go physical hunting uh, physical shopping but here it is guys outside of the box and uh, I actually like it outside of the box it's nice it's cute uh, the <laughs> and the, the base is a bit thicker it's not flat it has like a, a rim rim section area so parang paloob siya. it's like a cap feeling but that's nice it's thick so i like it it's like he's flying and all of that and you know it would go well with my uh the other foodies that i have one of the pop foodies which is actually the fruit loop cereal box na figure uh, i can show it to you guys but probably next time when i remember it uh but yeah it's actually a nice figure to pair it with this one so this is the first figure that i got from the selected list and then the next one we cannot proceed with it it's actually this one so oh you can't see it eh, eh? okay that's so weird <laughs> i actually have the specialty series Cosca Reeves from the uh, the Disney Plus series, uh, The Mandalorian. But it's weird, and I think you might guys be surprised also upon opening. When I open the box, the figures <laughs> baliktad siya, which is odd. <laughs> I don't know about that, what happened there. <laughs> but <laughs> okay, that's weird. Uh, but here it is, guys. It's Cosca Reeves. Uh, let me just take it out of the box already simply because I don't know why it's facing black part But to give you a uh, brief light on who the character is uh, If you guys have already watched the show Particularly season 2 of The Mandalorian Yung nakasama ni uh, Katie Sackoff Who played um, the heiress or Bo-Katan Kreese in the series This is the girl nakasama nila dun sa team of the Night Owls uh, who is who's played by who plays it by Sasha Banks? Sa so it's Sasha Banks who plays Costa Reeves in the series. So this is her uh, figure. So this is uh, Costa Reeves outside of the box, and I like the uh, the design of the helmet because it's very like battle scar, battle scorn, and very worn out na yung itsura niya. So I like the pose that they gave it, even though it's a bit simple. It's bringing siya ng blaster pistol on the side and then you can actually see the logo of the night owls on her arm so i'm not sure if you're able to see it uh, unless i tilt the head upwards so you're going to see it it's right there so this is costa reeves and again it's weird that the package and the figure came in na it's outside na nakabaliktad siya i mean that was very weird now I think I understand it. If there are times now when they're delivering items or like as a store na they don't usually take it out of the box because nga syempre, they want to leave it to the customer's experience of taking it out of the box. But you know in this scenario na it's never been taken out of the box tapos biglang nakaharap sa likod which is weird. And yeah, now that's that's a lot better na naka outside of the box na siya. And this figure actually has the this is one of the uh, other figures. Now, I think they're still producing it with this kind of sticker. This is the uh, Funko Specialty Series Edition sticker. Which is a... Uh, it's, they indicate it here in a very white text that it's a limited edition exclusive. But there is no number as to how many. Uh, what is the limit of the figure. But all I know, it's a limited figure and it has a Funko Specialty Series. And the reason why I ordered it nakinuha ko na siya because there's another store that sells it this figure exactly but it has the Funko special edition sticker and I would have appreciated it more if I would be getting it with this sticker so this is the second figure that I got uh, it's from Star Wars and then the last figure uh, it's also Star Wars which is this one uh, ayan so let me just take it out of the sorter box na din and uh, this is also this is from the uh, another live action Disney Disney Plus show which is the Obi Wan Kenobi and this is Haja S3. So if you've watched the series already, this is played by uh, Kumail Nanjiani from the from the series. Uh, he also played um, what was the name again? 
he he also played the uh, the Eternals dun sa Marvel film na Eternals but I don't know what was the name of him in the movie I can't recall <laughs> but uh, here it is guys so this is Haja S3 which is a uh, Funko special edition I'm not sure Sansha exclusive but there, that's the difference sa man. so you can see the the two different stickers uh, oh yeah I almost forgot these are actually a uh, the figures that you can get from this set, the Mandalorian set. So uh, you have here Pedro Pascal. Oops, that's the actor. Uh, you have the Mandalorian with Grogu and him unmasked. And then you have Boba Fett, you have Bo Katan Kreese, you have Ahsoka Tano, you have Grogu with Cookies, the Dark Trooper. I uh, also have here three new sets. Three new characters rather na hindi kasunod ng After Force 66 pero yung sinama nila dito sa set. Uh, si Luke Skywalker with Grogu. Fennec Shand and Cobb Van. So I actually have this set already. It's already complete and I'll do a review on it sometime in the future. So antayin nyo na lang guys yung video na yun. But other than that, let's go to Haja S3 now. <clears throat> so these are the figures that you can get and this is from Wave 1. So you have here Obi-Wan Kenobi, you have Darth Vader, you have uh, Colin, I don't know how you pronounce his, his first name. Colin? 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 I'm not sure it's Colin Roken. Is it Roken yung ginamit, pag ginamit sa kanya or how it was called in the movie? And then you have Tala Durit, the uh, the spy in the M uh, in the Imperial, in the Empire rather. And then you have here Riva, the third sister. So let's take uh, this guy out of the box. So if you guys have watched the series already, you guys know na si Haja Esther is yung quote-unquote the fake uh, quote-unquote Jedi in the movie so the reason I use quote-unquote is because he's a fake Jedi in the series he was like pretending to be a, uh, a Jedi and scamming people to give him money use his Jedi-like powers para maka-escape sa Empire Strat or at least give people new chance to live but you know in a sense it's like Robin Hood? I don't know if Robin Hood is the correct character to to compare him with since Robin Hood steals from the rich and gives to the poor. What he does is he steals from the poor but he helps the poor people get a new life. So, 50-50. <laughs> but here he is guys uh, outside of the box and I like na he's holding like the, uh, the microphone in his other hand and here on this other hand, uh, I don't know, yeah, if I tilt it like this, you can see it. He has like the magnetic niya na, may magnetic uh, gloves niya where he can like get the uh, microphone. It's like force getting it. And then you can also see his fake uh, Jedi lightsaber, which is just a prop because he wants to, you know, make everyone think he is a Jedi. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Haja S3 for you. So if you haven't guys watched any of the series like um, The Mandalorian and Obi-Wan Kenobi and you are interested in watching, uh, my recommendation to you guys is that you, you can watch them because you know, they're, they're great shows. And you have like a deeper understanding of the film for this one once you've watched it. But yan lang naman, these are the three figures that I got for my uh, collection. To add to my collection, uh, again, it's from an amazing promo at Calico Toys for any three figures from their selected list for 1,200. So it's Oscar Reeves from The Mandalorian, Haja from Obi-Wan Kenobi, and of course the ad icons to Kensan. So that's it lang naman for today's video. Uh, <coughs> that's it lang naman and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you need to subscribe, like the video, and of course comment down below which of these three did you like the most but that's it lang guys see you guys in the future and see you guys next time